Stu, a week since the Rochdale game, you've had a bit of time now to think about it. What have you made of that game and the team's performance? Yeah, I thought it was excellent. I thought the character within the performance, when you come away and really assess it, to go down mm -hmm. twice against a team that have the types of players that they have, the quality that they have, I thought it was excellent from the lads to stay focused uh, and not go under, because it's easy to go under when you're playing against quality players to, mm -hmm. to kind of go under and not play with the intensity we did, but the lads stuck to the task, they stuck to the game plan. We wanted loads of crosses, they crossed the ball loads, we thought it was one of their weaknesses that they struggled every time anything come in their box from different areas of the pitch which we tried to set up and I think the lads executed it really well and it's, it's, a, it's a great result for us. It's a good confidence booster but I think it was a deserved three points. When we watched the game back I don't think it was a game that we didn't deserve to win. I think at half time we probably could have gone in 3-1 up at half time on chances and we played really well. Um, and of course this weekend coming up away at Halifax, what are you expecting from them and how is the team going to go into this game? I think this will be one of our most difficult places in the league to go. Mm -hmm. Halifax is one of the toughest places to go. They've got the best defensive record in the league. I think he's done an incredible job there again. They obviously got to Wembley last year and won the, the trophy. Mm -hmm. And this season they've kind of kicked on from there again. They're in and around the playoffs. Uh, and they're in and around the playoffs for a reason because defensively they're one of the best in the league. Uh, and they've got pace on the break, so every time we're attacking, they're a real threat as well. So it's going to be a really tough game, and uh, it's a game that we look forward to. It's a game that we know we've got to go on the road, and we've got to make sure that we're solid, and we don't, and we restrict them to chances as well. So we're looking forward to the challenge. Is it a case of completely forgetting about the result last year, or is it using that as a drive for motivation? Look, I always think it's a drive from the lads that played in that performance mm. because you have personal standards and. Mm. Uh, when you go there again, you don't want that to happen to you. But if you look at our situation when we went there, we had two or three defenders out. Cholesey had to play right back. We had players playing out of position all through that game. And mm. it's highlights in this league that when you don't kind of have your strongest, probably one to 16 out mm. in the sense of players coming in and out, we had probably seven or eight out on that day. Mm. And it really hurt us. Uh, but it didn't warrant us losing by the score that we did within that. We've got to make sure that when things happen like that within games and moments happen in games, we've got to be better within it. Because we were good up until probably just before half time when they scored second half, we just, we kind of went under a little bit. The lads gave everything, but we come up really short in all departments really. Uh, so something that we all look to put right there, but we know that it's one of the most difficult places in this league to go. So we've got to make sure that we're on it. Uh, you talk a lot about momentum in this league. Of course, coming off the back of the last game, how can the team use that for the two massive games coming up? Yeah, I think when you win games of football, uh, it brings confidence. Uh, it makes lads want to play the next game. Like it's, it's a shame. When you're winning games of football, you want to be playing Saturday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. When you're getting a little bit of a bad rut and it's Saturday, Tuesday, that's when it becomes difficult because mm -hmm. then confidence and momentum comes into it. So look, we're always happy when we kind of go Saturday to Saturday because we get good prep into the lads. And I think if you look at our results over the course of a season, you'll see that when we're playing Saturday to Saturday is when we pick up our best results. So when it is Saturday to Saturday as it is at the minute, uh, it's good for us as a group because we get good prep time into the lads and we get to really work on a game plan for, for Halifax. So look, we're looking forward to the challenge. And it's been quite a busy week off the pitch in terms of transfers with the club. We'll start with Jed. He's been recalled by Bristol, played on Tuesday. What's the situation behind that one? Uh, they recalled him to go into their first team. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the long-term plan is for Jed, mm -hmm. whether he's going into the first team now to be their number one. We don't know, and Jed didn't know it at the time, but he went in and kept a clean sheet the other night. Mm. Uh, I thought Jed was absolutely outstanding for us mm. uh, this season, and it's, it's sad to lose him, but obviously we, we had to we've, we've had to replace him, and we're, we're happy with the, the goalie that we're bringing in. Uh, and that is, of course, Marcus. What have you made from what you've seen of him so far? He's a goalie we tried to get in the summer on loan. Mm -hmm. uh, he was right at the top of our list. Of, we had three or four goalies on that list. Uh, and he was right at the top. We inquired about bringing him in on loan. Sheffield United at the time didn't want to loan him out. Thought that he, they wanted him around the squad, which is is, is down to them. Uh, so we had to move on to a, to another target, which was Jed. Uh, so look, we know lots about him. He, he suits the way we play. He's mm. a good distributing goalie. He's a front foot goalie. Uh, we're looking forward to working with him. And, and the biggest bonus is it's, it's a permanent. So uh, it's great news. It's great business for the club. I want to thank his agent. His agent, Chris, has been unbelievable within this deal. 
Uh, so we've got to thank him for that to getting this over the line for us. Uh, but yeah, look, we're looking forward to it. It's exciting times. Um, and it's been quite a tough start to the season for Luke Dreyer. He's, of course, broke his arm in pre-season, just got back to fitness. He's going on loan for a month. Is that part of his recovery? Yeah, definitely. He's going on loan to Lewis, uh, mm. where Mundell Smith went on loan last year. Tony, the manager down there, they've got a similar philosophy to us mm. in the way that they try and play. So it's a good environment for him to go into and get game time. Uh, he needs games now. He's, he's chomping at the bit. Mm. He's raring to go. But he needs games. We've got to manage him. We don't want him breaking down. He's a key player to the squad. Um, we want to make sure that come that Christmas period that he's, he's kind of firing on all cylinders and, and doesn't kind of pick up any other little niggles. So, yeah, he's gone out on loan for a month to play games and uh, it'll be really good for him. And then finally, just the last one, Charles Claydon making the move to Boreham Wood. What's the situation behind that? Boreham Wood have come in and uh, obviously made an offer for, for Charles and the club have accepted it. Uh, and we wish him good luck. Uh, he's done really well for us since he's been at the club and look, this is football, players move in and out and we know we know our model at this football club, we're always move players on at the right time, we feel it's the right time to move Clades on mm. uh, because what we've got in the building now, uh, we brought up Brandon Mason in who plays the same position and he's kind of been excellent since he's come in so we're really happy with what we've got in the squad so look, we wish Clades good luck, he was a good servant to us here at the football club for the short time that he was here and, mm -hmm. and look, we'll go again. Brilliant, cheers for your time, Chef. What's up, man?